Good Could morning. I... Could I have a smoke? Thank you, ma'am. How's it going, everyone? It's Tuesday. Just got done getting the car wash. Just got done getting the goose some coffee because, you know, got to get the goose or coffee in the morning. It's a good day, and it's a good day because it's chest day. No, I'm just kidding. It's chest day, but it's a good day for a lot of reasons. Hope everyone had an awesome Memorial Day weekend. I know I had some time to relax and chill out. It was good. So today, we are back on the grind. We're going to get to have this meal one. We're going to have this chest day. I'm going to take you with both of them and to the rest of the day. So we're in the future right now. It's the next day. We trained chest yesterday, but today we're going to do a commentary and a little bit of an instructional video of how I train chest with the options I have right now at the gym I'm training at. Not really a gym, but a garage setup. So I'm not training in the basement, as you guys all know. Also, 70% of people who watch my channel are not subscribed. So if you like my video, subscribe, give it a like, helps me grow. I would appreciate it a lot. But yesterday we had a pretty good chest workout. Got a really nice pump. Not every day for me, chest training is the same. Sometimes I go a little bit heavier, sometimes I go a little bit lighter. And today was kind of a more of like a high volume day, if you want to call it that, a little more high volume. So I like to show the different styles of my training. Not every day is the same. I do like to switch it up. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into the commentary. I do like to get a warm up in before pretty much every workout I do, but for upper body, I really like to get some band work in. Nothing crazy, just a couple sets of this. And I will go on to like um, rotator cuff exercises, but. I always make sure to warm up because I do have some, some little raggedy you know, shoulders going on. I'm not going to lie, my front delt on my left side is backed up a little bit. I think it's that bench I showed you guys in the other video, but I do make sure to warm up pretty much every workout, especially chest, especially chest day. I'm not going to lie, I've been doing this dumbbell warm up for damn near like five years, five, six years, maybe even more, seven to eight years. I've been working out for a good minute. But I always do this in my delt day, my back day, and my chest day. I always like to get this rotator cuff exercise in because I feel like it does help me a lot. It gets me warmed up, gets everything going. And I'm just so used to it now, so it's like second nature before every upper body day. As the years go on training, you always learn new things, pick up new tricks. And I have been doing cable flies in the beginning of my workouts recently. And if you watch any of my other videos on Instagram or YouTube or anything, I've done 315 pounds on the incline for multiple reps. I've done 115, 150 pound dumbbell presses on incline for multiple reps. So weight isn't necessarily a, a big issue for me, but I'm not gonna lie, ever since I started doing the cable flies warm up, I've been just getting a lot better contraction. So I would definitely recommend doing this exercise before you do your main movers. I do go one set to failure on that, pretty much to failure. So if you see me going all out there, that's why I do one set, get the blood flowing, I get a crazy pump, and I moved on to this exercise, which is the incline hex press. And I, I really do love this exercise, and I don't ever really use this as my main mover to start off. But like I said, not every work has the same for me. I do like to switch it up. And this exercise was really nice to switch up for this day. And I didn't have as much dumbbell weight as I wanted to, but the 75s did fine. If you can see, is our Planet Fitness on that? And I, I've never used Planet Fitness equipment because I've never been there, but that's the first time for that. But yeah, the incline dumbbell hex press got it in. Did about one to two sets to failure. I think it was two sets to failure. And I really enjoyed it. Got a nice pump. Push to failure. You got to push yourself if you want to grow. It's that simple. <laughs> Next, we moved on to arguably my favorite exercise for chest, definitely between this and incline dumbbell. So incline barbell is on the, on the agenda now. And like I said, I've done a lot heavier weight than this, but after fatigue on the, the cable fly and the hex press, this was actually somewhat challenging. My goal was 12 to 15, which I got. So that was nice. I can't tell, it's 225 actually. 225 on the bar, so nothing crazy for me, honestly, but it felt really good. And I have been moving my grip in a little bit closer, which is nice. And I would recommend to try that out. Move the grip in a little bit in the incline. Range of motion is killer. 
but you will see me pushing pretty much close to failure in all these exercises and I do make sure to do that my last set so pretty much for the most part all these are my last set so I'm doing generally two to three sets and the last one is pretty much always a failure next exercise is a landmine press I'm a huge fan of this this shit is epic I like to do it close to my end of my workout not really a main mover for me more of a pump work at the end but I make sure to push all out on this go balls to the wall crazy no matter what but in terms of weight, you're not gonna do too much crazy weight, but you are gonna get an epic contraction, so I would definitely recommend throwing this in the mix. Like I said, towards the end usually for me. And next we go on to this fly variation with the dumbbells. I was gonna do a cable. I decided not to. I decided to throw this in because I'm not gonna lie, I feel this really, really good amount on my upper chest. So I was like, why not? Let's throw this in the mix. Not every workout's the same, guys. Always switching it up. If you did want to sub out this exercise, you could do a low cable fly or a high cable fly or even uh incline dumbbell pronated fly incline dumbbell pronated fly which is a favorite of mine too so you have a lot of options towards the last exercise to switch out but i usually do a stretching movement so a fly as my last movement that's just what i like to do i like to really stretch the pec out you could do a press superset with a fly or you could do another press to finish it out but when it comes to my training i'm almost always doing a fly to finish it out which is like i said just how i prefer to train you can try different methods, but I would recommend doing a fly to finish out. Get a lot of blood in there, push as hard as you can, and just feel it out and enjoy the damn pump, man. That's what it's about. Enjoy that fucking pump. And let's be honest guys, man, like let's be honest here. If you don't pose at the end of the workout, are you actually a bodybuilder? Like seriously, you gotta pose at the end of the workout. So that's what we did. We hit some posing. Hey, my, my signature pose, which is the most muscular, I do it all the time, is what it is. But that's a chest workout. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I haven't done a commentary over my workout in a long time and we weren't getting the biomechanics or you know, RPEs or, or different type of the fibers activated or energy pathways or all this other shit. I just wanted to be a little bit of commentary, a little bit of fun times, give you a little bit different content. Cause usually I'm posting like full day of eatings or just raw workouts. So today I figured I switch it up. I switch up the workout, I switch up the content a little bit. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you want me to do it again or something similar to this. I like to switch up the content, so any ideas are always appreciated. Just throw them in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Matt Gregor, I'm out.